to the inaugural episode of The Heart of Irvine. Today I'm here with a special guest, Kathleen, and her assistant, Adriana, and they do magic with a camera and they capture such wonderful, sweet, precious moments of babies, of maternity shoots. So I'm excited for you to get to know her a little bit today. I'm Yulri, your host and your local realtor and your Irvine neighbor. And let's get started right away. <laughs> so Kathleen, you were kind of telling me before we started shooting that you came to, came to Irvine and you started living here and then started your business. But why did you decide to start your business? Why photography? Ok. Um, eu sou a advogada. She's a lawyer. She has a... Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She has a law degree uh, in Brazil. Wow, amazing. <laughs> e, uh, uh -huh. A fotografia sempre esteve na minha vida, mm -hmm. junto com o direito. Yeah, photography was always a part of her life uh, with... Uh, the lawyer things that oh, she yeah? was doing, yeah. Wow. A minha primeira câmera eu comprei quando eu tinha 13 anos. The first camera she bought was when she was 13 years old. Mm. Então, so you've always loved photography, even though you were a lawyer mm -hmm. too. Okay. Mas uh -huh. uh, trabalhei muito como advogada e teve um momento muito sério que aconteceu na minha vida. Yeah, she worked uh, for many years as a lawyer. She had her office and all that in Brazil. But there's one thing that happened um, that changed her way of view, like her what she was doing at that mm -hmm. time. And what was that? <laughs> Eu sou mãe, tenho dois filhos, tenho dois meninos. She's a mother of two, two boys. <laughs> yeah. E uh, eu sempre participei das reuniões das escolas, das apresentações deles. Sempre fui muito presente na escola. She was always present in school meetings. She wanted to know what was going on with her boys. I see. Porém, teve uma reunião específica onde a professora me perguntou qual a cor e a comida uh, favorita do meu filho e eu não soube responder. Yeah, so there was this specific meeting that mm -hmm. she was at parents' meeting and the teacher asked her what her boys, what was her boys' favorite food and color. And she didn't know what to answer. She didn't know what was his Sorry. favorite color and what was uh -huh. his favorite food. Oh, uh, yeah. she, I know that story. Um, uh -huh. She didn't know what to answer. She just started crying in front of the teacher. And that was uh -huh. what changed her life from law uh -huh. to photography. <laughs> E nesse momento eu percebi que eu estava uh, trabalhando demais, me empenhando demais fora, mas na minha casa não estava dando atenção como eu deveria dar para os meus filhos. Mm. Yeah, so she was uh, indeed making a lot of money mm -hmm. uh, and I think her family is from the area, but mm -hmm. she wasn't happy because she didn't have time for her own boys and yeah. she didn't want to be that kind of mom. E aí quando uh, mm -hmm. quando nós uh, mudamos para cá, eu decidi que eu não iria mais advogar, que eu iria dedicar ao meu, aos meus filhos, à minha família, como também iria fazer meu segundo amor, que seria a fotografia. Mm -hmm. Aí então eu startei mm -hmm. a fotografia uh, na minha vida, mm -hmm. efetivamente. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so her husband had an offer to move to California. She came, but she didn't want to work with that anymore. No, no, yeah, so she wanted uh, mm -hmm. a new life and mm -hmm. she wanted to have some time for her boys and her mm -hmm. family. Not only her boys, but her husband as well. Um, and that's where everything began here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I think... I commend you for making such a big career change, you know, and understanding where you wanted to be, who you wanted to be for your kids. I think even when you were a lawyer, I think you were probably an amazing mom already, you know. The fact that you're working so hard is probably for your family, you know. And so you were a great mom then, and you're a great mom now. <laughs> yeah, and that's so sweet that you made that change, and then you seem so happy and fulfilled in, in doing what you do. Yeah. 
when you were giving me a tour of your studio, you seemed so proud of what you do. Yeah. And now you do something so special. You're able to capture those very special and precious moments with babies and moms, moms to be and whatnot. So that's such a sweet story. <laughs> Thank you for Sorry. sharing with me. No, I completely understand. I had a career change too after my second because I was in the corporate world working crazy hours, weekends, nighttime, because we were an international company. Mm -hmm. And so I, my husband told me, you know, we don't really see you. You're not showing up. And that's when I was out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I so I, I understand. I had a complete career change as well. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Only strong woman here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a strong woman. I love that we're all moms. Yes. And that we're here to support each other. Yes. Yeah. And so, you know, since you started this business, what has surprised you most about being a business owner? And amazing for you to not only switch your career, but also switch it in a whole, whole different country as well. Like, what was that like, just starting oh, your own business? Não somente de carreira, mas mudar de país. Uh, toda mudança gera, gera medo. Então... Uh, eu estava disposta a mudar de vida e dar uma oportunidade melhor para os meus filhos. Você tem medos, você acha que não vai dar certo, que não vai conseguir, que não vai conseguir uh, não só ter um, um... se dedicar mais para os seus filhos, para a sua família, como também começar um novo negócio. Yeah, so uh, mm -hmm. every time you change, you have the fears, and she wasn't sure if she will have, like, really have the time for her family mm -hmm. the way she was planning. Mm -hmm. Like she wasn't sure because it was something new. That's true. Então, uh, eu vejo isso como esqueci That a was a challenge. Sim. Yeah. Desafio. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that what she means is that that was the biggest challenge. Like, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. changing. Uh, she had to trust herself. Uh, she wanted that. She she made it happen. But it was it was hard, right? It was yeah. Very As hard. an immigrant, it, everything is harder. Yeah. Uh, for us, mm -hmm. first of all, the language. Mm -hmm. Um. Second, we don't know anything around here, right? She okay. didn't know anything here. Um, even though she traveled all, like, the world, mm -hmm. uh -huh. she traveled a lot before moving to, to the United States, but uh, traveling is something, right? Leaving there is something totally different, mm -hmm. and I think that was a big challenge. You uh, que você fez depois? Foi difícil, beleza, mas aí? Ah, uh, foi difícil? Uh, one second. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> deu bug. Ah, uh, deu bug. Oh, deu. <laughs> uh, ah, sim, ok. Foi difícil, uh, mas eu tive o apoio de Adriana, eu tive o apoio do meu marido e juntos começamos a... tomamos coragem em, em recomeçar. Mm. Okay. Yeah, so even though it was hard, The people that surrounded her, mm. that helped her, first her husband and her kids as well. Her husband, she always tells me, he's uh, her best friend. Mm. And he, will, of course, will have to agree with all this okay. craziness and changing her career and all that. He's her partner. Mm -hmm. And he's one of the most important uh, person in her life. And then... She says I did. Yeah, I heard her name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I'm like just a little. And yeah, so that's something that I think impressed her. Uh, she didn't expect mm. to have the help of so many people. She's mentioning me and her husband, but I'm pretty sure uh, lots of people tried to help her, mm -hmm. even with words that that's mm -hmm. a kind of help too. Um, I think... That gave her power to keep going. Uh, as pessoas ao seu redor deram mm -hmm. 
um poder maior uh -huh. para você continuar, né? E não desistir. Né? And not giving up. Yeah. yeah. How am I to? <laughs> Well, it's very, it's, it's very courageous of you to do something like that in a completely new country, new city, where you may not have the resources back home of family, friends, or even just knowing how society works here. Very different, right? Different laws and things like that. So very courageous <laughs> of you to do that. So now that you've had three years under your belt as a photographer, What's something that you enjoy doing about it? What keeps you going and what motivates you for photography? Agora que você já tem três anos de fotografia, o que que motiva você a continuar fazendo isso? Tá, uh, os três anos uh, da fotografia aqui, mas eu já fotografava no Brasil, então uhum. eu tenho um maior tempo como fo como fotógrafa. Só para. Tá, mas o que te motivou? Sim, não, falar isso. mas só para completar essa parte. Ok, yeah. So the three years are only here. Uh, oh, you were yeah. photographer there too. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, And what do you love about it? É outra história da minha vida. Another story of her life. Yeah. yeah let's try. I love to hear it. This is about you, so you you can talk as much as you want. Ok. Uh, uh, eu não, a minha mãe, quando, engra, quando engravidou de mim, ela não pôde ter, eu não pôde registrar, não pôde ter tirado fotos daquela época, nem quando eu nasci. Você sabe por quê? Não sei. Ok, so she's saying that when her mom got pregnant of her, she didn't take the time to take pictures. Mm -hmm. So she doesn't have uh, memories, like uh, physical memories mm -hmm. of uh, that time. She didn't see your... Era uma uh, pregnant, right? Sim. Mm -hmm. Nessa época era muito caro você uh, revelar print, as fotos. Yeah, back in the days it was very expensive in Brazil yeah. doing those photos and print, even printing the photos mm -hmm. were very expensive in Brazil. E mm -hmm. não tínhamos condições para ter uh, para tirar umas fotos, para revelar essas fotos. Yeah, they couldn't afford that at that time. Então, uh, quando eu cresci, uh -huh. nas escolas, a professora sempre perguntava, traga uma foto da sua mãe grávida de você. Yeah, so when she was a big girl, uh, at school teachers were, would ask, oh, uh, tomorrow everybody please bring a photo of your mom pregnant of you, and she didn't have that photo. <laughs> então, era uma situação muito muito difícil para mim ao longo dos anos eu ter que conviver com o fato de não ter registrado parte da minha história. Yeah, so she couldn't um, believe that through the years she couldn't um, see what her mom was like when mm -hmm. she was pregnant. And she uh, she wanted some. She couldn't um, accept the fact that she didn't. Mm -hmm. Have it, yeah, and she wanted to change something. I think for her. <laughs> <laughs> então, uh, quando eu completei meus 11 anos, 11 para 12 anos, eu disse para mim mesmo que eu não ia permitir que a partir daquele momento eu não tivesse mais a minha história registrada. Yeah, so she decided around, when she was around 11 years old that she wouldn't allow herself to keep going without having those memories and she was thinking about something bigger there. <laughs> <laughs> então eu juntei dinheiro e aos três eu consegui comprar minha primeira câmera. Yeah, so she started raising money so she could buy her first professional camera, right? E and that happened então, when she was 13, 13 years old. E yeah. desde então eu venho fotografando cada momento que eu considero importante e que é um legado para minha história e para minha família. Yeah, so since she was 13 years old, she started taking pictures um, with her way of uh, like seeing the life mm -hmm. uh, and keeping those memories because she thinks that is extremely important. Mm -hmm. Not então, only for her, but uh, for everybody. O que me move a fotografar é mostrar para as pessoas o quanto a história dela pode ser relembrada e eternizada ao longo do tempo. Okay, so what, uh, uh, let's say, feels her, like what 
motivate motivates her is that she wants people to to see that importance and she thinks that everybody has the right to have uh, those memories mm. since the beginning and yeah. I think that's why she starts with the, the newborn with the maternity yeah. right yeah, 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 yeah. before the yeah. baby arrives if I, uh, and also the newborn como uh, o primeiro ano do bebê quando ele começou a andar, que é o tipo milestone. Uhum. Então, são momentos muito importantes e que a gente vai esquecer. Porque pergunta para ela, uh, ela lembra do rosto do bebê dela quando ele tinha dois meses? Yeah, so not only photographing the, the babies when they are newborns, but she likes the milestones idea of uh, pictures as well. Uh, professionals, of course, because uh, photographers have they have a different view of um, these know. memories mm -hmm. and she thinks that is so important because we most of the times we forget our baby's faces like mm -hmm. do you remember your baby when your baby was two months old do you remember it's yeah, sometimes I hard look back at the <laughs> 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 so yeah when you look at the photos you're like oh the oh. baby looks so different yeah yeah they change a lot that first year yeah, yeah. so mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> that's why <laughs> she likes doing that yeah. since the beginning of uh the mm -hmm. kid's life um yeah e não e só para complementar e não só a uh, como a gente não lembra como tiramos várias fotos no celular ou até mesmo fotos profissionais, deixamos no HD ou no pendrive e quando é que a gente vai olhar, a não ser que passe no celular. Mm -hmm. Por isso que eu também trago a importância de ter os álbuns. Ok, yeah. So, even though we mm -hmm. take a lot of pictures from our phones, our devices, um, it can go away. Mm -hmm. We can lose your, like, the, mm -hmm. the phones, they, we lost or something like that idea, and it's yeah. digital so yeah. she likes the idea of printing uh that's my baby printing <gasps> your baby yeah Aww. doing the that's albums perfect. because this way you're gonna have it forever mm -hmm. yeah phones like we do have thousands mm -hmm. of photos in our yeah. phones but we don't like see it all the time yeah. try to see it all the time and too. it's extra special yes yeah i have mine printed as well in our hallway yeah. so i see it all the time photography is uh, forever for yeah the only way it. to <laughs> to have those memories forever, forever. yeah yeah it's true yeah can you remind us right yeah yeah i would say even my kids even i have a four-year-old and a 21 month old and they love looking at photos of themselves when they were babies they'll look at all the pictures and say that's me and i think i understand where you're coming from of your experience growing up and not having photos mm -hmm. of yourself as a baby or your mom pregnant because people love to be seen and i think photos are a way of reminding them that hey, we've seen you, we've seen you as a baby, we've seen you grow up, and we see you now. So it's a it's a way of showing love, I think, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very important. Yeah. So, you know, since you've been in business and did photography here, what's something that your clients say about what you do that they appreciate or they like? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why you're being shy? <laughs> what do they say about traveling? Just so to be base. Yeah, <laughs> it's something almost every parent mm -hmm. from a newborn session, for example, they say uh, she's a baby whisperer. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, almost all her reviews are saying that that she's a baby whisperer. Um, she really knows how to handle a, a newborn. Oh boy, yeah. Yeah, so I, I see that they always say that you're patient, mm -hmm. yeah, that you're calm and Paciencia, you know, cuidadosa, uh, caring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's really good with kids. Yeah, mm. that's uh, one of the things people say like the most, mm. almost all of them. Yeah. Isso para ela que eu fiz até uma camisa de tanto que as pessoas falavam que eu era a. People say that <laughs> so much. Uh -huh. That she made a t-shirt with the oh, baby whisper. With baby whisper. Oh. Yeah. 
she made Sweet. that. <laughs> she wants to show that. Oh, I love it. Baby whisper. <laughs> well, you have to show the camera. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I hear the most from okay. her clients, Baby Whisper. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we were talking about this before we turn on the camera in terms of what you hope your future is with your business. You know, we talked about maybe expanding the space, adding more staff. Anything in the near future you hope to accomplish with your business? Sim, uh, penso em expandir, mostrar, to the, uh, the space. trazer uh -huh. uh, não só a fotografia uh, para o público, mas também trazer uh -huh. conhecimentos, cu outros tipos de cuidados que estão relacionados com o bebê, com a maternidade, trazer mais informações, não ser apenas... She also wants to bring more information to the community, uh, to her clients, uh, not only uh, through uh, photography, but she wants uh, to spread the information about uh, maternity and mm. babies. Yeah, like uh, I'm saying that myself uh, mm -hmm. as a first time mom, sometimes we are afraid of a lot of things. And that's why mm -hmm. we call her a baby whisperer because mm -hmm. she knows how to handle it. It's not the end of the world. Everybody can do it. But sometimes we don't trust ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, and she wants to to spread that, that we, we can do it. Um, yeah, maybe more information. Mm -hmm. No, so apenas photographer, but uh, se eu tiver como ajudar de alguma outra maneira que possa que, po que eu possa fazer isso por eles. Yeah, she wants to find a way of uh, helping the community, let's say that, mm. with information. Yeah, okay. not only her business, uh, like her photography, but she wants to find a way of doing that too. Mm. Ajudar a, to as pessoas. É o que me move também. Sempre gostei de fazer isso. Eu fazia tanto quando, quando advogava ou quando também fotografava no Brasil. Aqui eu dei uma parada por causa da língua, mas eu já estou... Okay, uh, helping people. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. I'm gonna forget. <laughs> helping people is what motivates her. So mm. that was kind of what she was doing when she was uh, doing her law business. Uh, a lawyer helps people, right? Mm -hmm. So she wants to keep doing that. Um, mm -hmm with information and through photography as well. Okay. Mm. Wow. That's it's amazing. Wonderful. <laughs> That's wonderful. So you were also mentioning that you yourself live in the city. You not only work here, but you live here. And you've lived here three years? Two years. Two, two years. What do you think about Irvine? I love. You love it. <laughs> Great. What about Irvine do you love? How is it different than <laughs> where you lived before? Uh, yeah, aqui é calm. It's a calm mm -hmm. city. Uh, é mais, eu sinto mais segurança para os meus filhos poderem ir para a escola. Safety, especially for mm -hmm. the boys going mm -hmm. to school. Tem mercados próximos. Yeah, groceries, malls <laughs> everywhere. Ah, uh, yeah. uh, e tem muitos parques. Os meus filhos gostam muito de ir aos parques, de andar de skate, de patinete. Tem muito verde. Isso para mim é muito importante. Yeah, so there's a lot of green here. Mm -hmm. Her boys are wild. So the parks. How old are they? Uh, 10 and 14. 10 and 14. 10 and 14. Yeah. Okay, yeah. They're, they're out and about. Lots <laughs> of energy. So <laughs> the parks from Irvine uh, mm -hmm. are a, a plus for her. Tem um parque, eu esqueci o nome dele, ele tem um balão. The Great, Great Park. Park. The Great Park, yes. I live at Great Park. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. Maravilhoso, <laughs> e os meninos gostam de ficar jogando basquete. Do ali. they do sports? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Great Park, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. She said basketball. they go there to play uh, basketball. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's why I moved there. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's really great for the kids, you know. Yeah. They're very different. Mm -hmm. uh, Eu morava em Huntington Beach antes. She e... was living in Huntington Beach. Oh, before. you were? Okay. Yeah, mas, uh... Huntington Beach is lovely, too. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Tem muito barulho. Uh -huh. <laughs> Lots of... Yeah, yeah. here uh, she likes it because it's calmer. It's calmer, like... yeah. I mm -hmm. prefer here. Yeah, the streets are less busy mm -hmm. all the time. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I lighter. Like I love the Irvine. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> do you live in Irvine? As I do. Well? Oh, great. Yeah. Where, where about? Close by. Uh, yeah, close here. Five to the minutes. Airport. Yeah, five oh, minutes from here. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Wh- which neighborhood do you mind me asking? I don't know the name of the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> it's Main Street and Danbury. I don't know. Oh, okay. I really or is know. it the condos over there? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, so there's a lot of good food around there. Yes. yes. Lots of good food. Yeah. <laughs> <You know. laughs> is there any good Brazilian restaurants? Are there any in, in here? Uh, tem um, o Texas, uh, restaurante que ela falou? Yes. Oh, Brazil, Brazil. Te- Texas, Texas, Texas in Brazil. Marketplace. Yeah, I think yeah. the two best ones are Texas de Brazil uh-huh. and Fogo de Chão. Oh, Fogo de Chão. Mm. Yes, mm-hmm. those are Brazilian steakhouses. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those are the I best love ones. the Pau de Queijo. Is that what, how is that? Pão de Queijo. Pão de Queijo. Oh, Me too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my pronunciation no was so bad. It's hard to pronounce. Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> but I love it. I've made it myself. You and did? Yeah, yeah. It's not hard. It's, it's not, not hard. Yeah. Not. I'm not yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's Brazilian. She doesn't know how to make it, but you are married. I love you it. You do it. <laughs> it's okay. I say she's very good at photography. <laughs> Only, only not baking. <laughs> Maybe I'll make some for you. <laughs> yeah, why not? Yeah. No. For the Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> do you do you have any other particular like favorite places to go in Irvine or restaurants? Um, I go to the Spectrum. She likes Spectrum. Mm-hmm. Spectrum. Okay. Think both restaurants are really good. Ah, your sorbeteria. Ice cream. Bacho. Oh, the one oh, in the Tokyo. Ju- the gelato place? Bacio de Latte. It's uh-huh. at Fashion Island, yes. I think. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's so gelato, good. so good. <laughs> yes, and yeah. I love it too. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite flavor? Uh, caramel. Caramel. Mm. Salt. Salt. Salt caramel. Salt caramel. Salt and caramel. Mm. Mm. I'm a chocolate gel. Yeah. Mm. Cook is good too. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you so much for sharing with me, you know, what you do, your business, why you do it. Before we end our interview, is there anything else you'd like to share about your business? Do you have any, like, events coming up, or um, are you trying to focus a little bit more on, you, you mentioned milestones and things like that? Tem alguma coisa, mm-hmm. antes de finalizar, você quer falar alguma coisa, algum evento vindo, acho que da Flora, essas são as minhas. Aham, da... Maybe feeling? Uh, so yeah. Follow, uh, so right we, now we have the mm-hmm. Father's oh, Minis fathers. Okay. Uh, for Father's Day. But we have something special coming up, which is the baby feeding session. Uh, feeding yeah. Session. Some uh-huh. photographers so do breastfeeding so uh, so photos, but yes. we, we, are, we are also thinking about the moms uh, and dads mm-hmm. that cannot breastfeed, That's so true. they do the bottle. So formula, it could be formula or breast milk or whatever. Um, we want to to make those memorable moments for for the parents. Mm-hmm. So this is a special session that we are about to launch. Uh, it's coming up soon, and this is I think the the biggest thing going on right now. Yeah. Mas uh, também mm-hmm. iremos ter uh, outras mini sessões uh, durante o ano. Como também Thanksgiving, Natal. Yeah, throughout the year we'll have the, the regular seasonal sessions. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we are always having something uh, special and new. Yeah, just, mm. uh, just contact <laughs> us. We'll say what's going on at the time. <laughs> By the way, I love how inclusive that is in terms of not just breastfeeding moms but dads too mm-hmm. and moms that can't breastfeed or choose not to breastfeed i think that's very beautiful yeah i think people would love and appreciate that yeah. Yeah. i don't think she uh-huh. had a problem breastfeeding her boys mm-hmm. but i did mm-hmm. and i really wanted to to breastfeed my baby she she knows everything that happened to me i was able to do it for a couple months but then i had to switch to formula mm-hmm. and my husband was helping a lot and He's the one that said, I want pictures of me feeding my baby. Uh, We already did the pictures of him uh, feeding uh, my baby Bella. And yeah, I told her about the importance because she didn't have uh, difficulty uh, Mm -hmm. feeding Mm -hmm. her babies. 
maybe she didn't know uh, how deep it can go for a mom that wants mm. to do that and can't. So we discussed for months before deciding to do this session and we definitely want to help everybody, all the moms, all the parents that want to, to keep those as mm -hmm. memory. One, not only breastfeeding, but formula and everything. Yeah, feeding is something so important for the baby. Mm -hmm. So, uh, o momento, a, a conexão que gera entre o pai e a mãe, ou, entre o pai e o bebê, e a mãe e o bebê, é, é muito maior. Entendi. Yeah, so the connection between uh, the mm -hmm. mom and the baby or the dad and the baby is for her and for me, for everybody, something huge, that so connection. Precious. Yeah, mm -hmm. so yeah, that's why we, we decided to do that session and hopefully mm -hmm. everybody <laughs> will love it the way we do. Yes, it's such a precious moment to have your baby in your arms and that connection that you have. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Irreplaceable. É um yeah. momento único. A unique moment. A unique moment, yes, yeah. that's true. So I love that you're providing that service to capture that mm -hmm. and make it forever. Because <laughs> <Yes. laughs> as parents, we want it forever, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We and want our babies to be baby possession. Like my mm -hmm. husband was feeding the baby and she was just like spying mm -hmm. him feeding her. You don't have to do anything. You just leave that moment. Mm -hmm. Like it's the moment you look at your baby's eyes. And it's so unique and your hands. Yeah, wow. the way we, we move your hands. <laughs> oh my gosh. The baby will touch your face, love. touch yeah. you. Yeah, so that's a beautiful session that is coming up. Yeah, so I think that's the biggest thing. Well, thank you everyone for chiming in. Please subscribe and for more videos on our community, the people that are the heart of Irvine. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in.